Hello! Waha! <laughs> Hello! Ha! I'm, I'm testing intras. Dag <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bloody Podcast, episode 6. Yeah, we are... We are really there, right? Episode 6. Fraction is gaining. Um, I don't how are you. I'm doing okay. I don't know say it like to die. Last mm. week it was me. Now it's him. Something is in the air. It it's all be. the game trials of the planes. <laughs> yeah, because you do live in Kenton and then... You know that we don't even notice them anymore. Like for reals. I can imagine because you stay in a place for long enough. Mm-hmm. You won't notice. So. Mm-hmm. Um. And normally there's the sounds of people being mugged or something. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how are you doing. I'm doing okay, thank you. Did you bring a talisman? I did brought the talisman. Please! So! Tell us more, tell us more. Tell us more of the talisman. Let me get ready for. Man! So, I brought this little guy. This is what they call a drum pad. And then my sticks. And I'm practicing every, every, every single day. I'm going to do many hours of practicing. Just some basic stuff. So this is what they call a single roll. It's one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And this is what they call a paradiddle. One, two, three. Yes, there we go. She's doing the rave as well. With the rant and rave, you can play me a song. Okay. Yeah, Aidot's a drummer. He's busy working with some on some fun things, like a drum set with lights and yes. all that business. Yes. He's excited. The best thing I've ever done. Do you want to see my talisman? I want to, yes. Um, as you may or may not know, Tuesday was my birthday. Happy and birthday! Thank you. Thank you. I turned 32 and um, I thought in light of that I could share with the audience some gifts that you have gifted me in previous birthdays. Oh, how okay? nice. I'm, I'm adorable. Now, I want you to explain yourself. Mm-hmm. I want you to explain your thought process. Process. <laughs> that sounded very Afrikaans. Your thought process when you bought this gift for me. Yes. Explain. First Which of ones? all, it gave me a card ne, that says, let's take a selfie. Very cute. Oh, nice. But oh, um, the contents of the card, that is upside down. Fuck your side. <laughs> well, now... Goeie poef, jy is ouwe. That's what I would write now. If, if he said this before, fuck jy is ouwe. What is he gonna say this year? He also got me a fidget thingy, my bob. It's like a, you press this. It's an on it's, switch without an on somewhere. It's, it's fun to play with. Um, I'm guessing it means that I, I fidget too much. But here's where it starts to get questionable. A children's toy. I thought you could release the, the child inside. That sounds terrible. <laughs> um, it's very whimsical. I'll give but you that. Read the back. Read the back. It's, it's time to shine. Like I don't always. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a question. What is a social acceptable amount of time for me to keep this? Before it accidentally getting lost. <laughs> oh! I'm kidding. I'll keep it close forever. <laughs> she said with a dustbin next to it. Okay, but this is not taking the cake. Yes. A jump rope. <laughs> well, true story. Okay, true story. Well, a little exercise is great, and and I thought you could possibly, you could possibly. Um, uh, turn it around because you do have a brother, and I know you can. So I can use it to choke him. What? <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like murder on a podcast. <laughs> I thought you were tricky. A joke, into... a joke, <laughs> uh, a joke, choking. A joke, a joke? <laughs> Not a for real one. A joke. Just a, you know. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Not a follow for real one. <laughs> Well, I, well, I, I read it as I think you need to start exercising. You're getting a bit patchy. <laughs> a patchy, <laughs> patchy, <laughs> fluffy. Anyway, um, it's very whimsical. Thank you for I know. for these um, historic presents. It's the, hey. I still have them. Yeah, you still have them. I'm not 
using that, well, this one I use. Yes. This, um, whenever I'm angry, so often. That is fantastic. Honestly, I, I need something like this. All I've got is a, I used to have a ring on this finger. Well, in I... February, sir, you can yes. expect one for your birthday. Yay! <laughs> anyway, artificial intelligence. Ah, now he's going to be um, lost in his oh, future thing. This is fantastic. Yeah. Okay, give no. me back. Sorry. Artificial intelligence. What um, do you think about it? Um, I think it's a problem. Okay, it's all fun and good when you, you use a computer to write your um, school talker, mm. your upsteller. What is that in English? Um, what did you say? Um, a, dra a draft or a... No. No. Um, I have a... Altogether. Uh, essay. That's the word. That's well, that was the first thing I said. No, it's not. You said draft. I said essay. Draft. Rewind. Let's go back. Okay, whatever. In one, say zero. So it's all good and fine. You get a computer to write your essays for you. But now we are starting to have a problem. Because there was this warning about voice notes on WhatsApp. So basically, if this computer gets a sample of your voice, they can make you say anything. So then, for example, they can clone your boss's voice and then they can send you a voice note saying, listen, pay three million to this account. And it's oh going to no. sound like it's coming from your boss. Or well, you're fired and you just don't pitch up the next day. Yeah. And then There's like lots of room for terrible things, but I have a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me out. <laughs> we clone the voice. Of the Eskom boss. Ooh, yeah. that's then, getting interesting. Then we send a voice note to all the employees to say suspend load sharing forever. If you hear from me in the future saying no, put load sharing, don't listen to me. This is a, a order yes. forever. Suspend load sharing. We can solve world <laughs> world issues. We can. We really can. That's a that's a very good that's idea. A good Only idea. one little problem. What? That they be, you can say suspend load shedding, but the thing is, is that they've messed up all these power plots, which means if you do suspend it for a bit, no, but then it's you just send world a voice note. Then you just send a voice note to all the employees saying, "Do your jobs better." <laughs> From management. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, now this is a terrible thing um, and at some point, and we've been warned about this, at some point the computers are going to gain self-awareness. So you can switch them off, they'll just switch themselves back on. They're going to get too powerful and we are not going to be able to stop them. Stop with this AI business. I made a TikTok earlier mm. because I tried to find the pharmacy and I was like eight and a half minutes listening to a robot lady saying, um, we appreciate your call. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's if you appreciated it. my call, you would have answered that. Can I tell you? Coincidentally, talking about AI, I watched a movie on Sunday night called Free Guy. It's a movie code with Ryan Reynolds, actually. And I what love him. he is. Um, so he's actually part of a, a computer game. Imagine playing. Uh, I don't play TV like games. Like Rekke Ralph. Like Rekke Ralph. Mm -hmm. Except it's. Yeah, so. But there's the real world, like you and me. And, and then there's the game There's world. the game world. And mm -hmm. then inside the game, then his character, because of the AI that was developed, actually starts learning. And he becomes self-aware. And he becomes self-aware. I need to watch that. It's very Sounds good. It's good. very funny. I like the record, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a part where he's like huge as well, like right at the end. Okay. It's very funny. That's really funny. Well, it makes me understand why you give me kids toys for my birthday. Because um, we are normally the adults that go to children's movies mm. without having the little humans. Like um, Madagascar. Madagascar. Penguins of Madagascar. Penguins. That was one of the funniest movies oh. I think I've ever seen in my life. Didn't we also watch Finding Dory? Yes, we did. Yeah, I cried in that. You did. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad, but I cried. 
Um, don't watch a movie with ARAD. Because it gets like um, emotionally attached to the characters. Which, I mean, I also do, but I don't vocalize it. He's, the I'm, like, I'm the one that. And he's sitting there like, no! <laughs> Listen! No! no! Why? No, it's a knee! It's a knee! It's a knee! <laughs> <laughs> Especially Please. not in the cinema because other parents of children will shh you. Yeah, they will, they will shh you. Anyway, Sandra will release the statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this, I'm not, not even trying to do a segue. That's lovely because... I, it's working for me. <laughs> yeah, the she's... other day one of our lovely followers commented, she's like, she couldn't keep up, she was enjoying it. So we came with it. Who needs a segue? Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was a good one. I know. Hey, well done. Well it done. just popped in. Okay, anyway. Yes. Sandra released a statement. Yes, what did they say? They said, it's illegal to fix bottles yourself. And my question, are they not embarrassed? Would you not be embarrassed as Sandra? I've even gone before. I've not just seen how they fix bottles. I have helped other people fund the thing to fix I, I, I thought you were going to say it was part of community service. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Well, no, but it's, and that's the other thing as, as well. It's, it doesn't take long. A pothole, honestly, they come with a, one of the big tubey thingies like this. And because there's a liquid with the stones, the clippies and the thing. Oh, and then okay, but it over. is important to use the right materials. But no, the other I'm day, saying. the community came together here to fix some bottles that's been here for five mm. years. Five years. I'm like, okay, Sandra, it's illegal to, to fix bottles, but why don't you why do Why don't it? you do it, please? Is it not embarrassing for them to say that? For the, like, are they not embarrassed of themselves? That people find the need to have to fix bottles themselves. Well, ah. the, the same thing happened to ESCOM where the whole community put up these solar panels and they solved their electricity problem. ESCOM came in and said, you know what, screw you guys, we are going to take down your things. Yep. And apart from that, the way that um, solar panels get stolen, mm -hmm. like, you can't do anything. You do That's one thing crazy. to try it's and like better your life, and, and then around boom. you, mm -hmm. boom, boom, taken away from you. Yeah, I agree. I, I feel like, are you high? Speaking of high, <laughs> yes, <the> <laughs> speaking of high, bony tails. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this Ariana Grande business? Going on. No, what's going on? Now? Have you not seen? Wait, okay, well, tell me, then maybe I know. I so see. you know who Ariana Grande is? Of course. She's a singer one. She has a nice voice. She has an insane. Voice. And her type of music is not really my thing, but her voice is incredible. She's this tiny little creature. And yeah, I think my brother has a crush on her. <laughs> Most people I think have so. a crush on her. Um, yeah, it ties into the story. Oh. Most people having a crush on her. So she's currently working on a movie. What is that movie with the um? Um, uh, <laughs> how to lose a guy in ten days? <laughs> <laughs> no, See, with, the, the pause. with the red heels clicking together. Uh, Mary Poppins. No, that's an umbrella. Man, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> So she's playing in the Wizard of Oz. Okay. Remake. No, I haven't heard of this. Um, and her hair is now blonde. I don't like the blonde hair, personally, but mm. not part of the story. So there's a guy in this film, mm. I think he's so known as Slater or something. I okay. don't really know who he is, but apparently he played Spongebob in a live reenactment version. So he's now a co star. Career goals. Ariana Grande is married. I did not know this, but she's married. She's married? Yeah. Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we jump in there. She's married. She's okay. been married for a while. Did not know. And Ethan Slater. Is it Ethan? I'm, I just need to check, fact check okay. myself. I because why does that not? again. Speak amongst yourself. That doesn't sound right. <sighs> okay, well, the reason why... Exactly, there we go. I bought this just for this occasion. I knew. I get to practice. Ethan Slater. Oh, hi, and we're back. Ethan Slater, aka Spongebob. He's also married. 
Dee's high school sweetheart. And they just had a baby. Mm -hmm. Movie time! What happens when actors work together do they fall in Ooh, love? They fall in love. Now stuff. they are dating and Ethan let his wife know. Good day. Divorce please. And Ariana split up with her husband. Oh my word. And the internet is freaking out because apparently in one of Ariana's songs she says um, something about leave your girlfriend on board or something. There's a song like that. Okay. Anyway, it's all just very odd. Uh, I don't want to shame anybody, but Ariana's a beautiful girl. Ethan is SpongeBob. But that you is say not, it like that. That is neither here nor there. He's married, she's married. They just had a baby. His wife and baby visited him on set just the other day. Mm. And they've been married since, like, after high school. They're high school sweethearts. And he just looks at Ariana and, yes, I do a whistle night <laughs> on these news buckles. And he's like, bye bye, wife. Sure, that's it. Today. Don't! Don't do that! Don't date married men or women. Like, this single people. Okay, not nice ones, but rather stay alone then. It's not that difficult. Take your paws <laughs> off married people. <laughs> That's it. Yay! Can you edit in one of those teeth sparkles? I can. <laughs> <laughs> I keep your paws off married people. Bing. Bing. I like that. But so many times that happens. It's like, could you just work together and with, with something not happening? Yeah, it's not that difficult. I mean, for the guy, it might not or it might not be that hard. <laughs> Adults, so. idiotic joke. No. Um, oh shit, my table is just bright. <laughs> Every time you do that, the other camera also feels like it's on the Titanic. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's not so bad. People just think there's an earthquake this side Technical of the beach. Difficulties. <laughs> yeah. um, you sent me something on WhatsApp about Subway. Yes. Okay, tell the audience. The audience. Okay, audience. So, um, Subway is running a competition. Yeah. That's if there is someone that changes their first name to Subway. And I don't know what the T's and C's are. Yeah. But if you change your first name to Subway, you yeah. will get Subway for the rest of your life. Life, life. Is this worldwide? I. Or just probably only in America. It can only be in America because the aliens are only there. I haven't. Is there still Subways here? Yeah, there is one there. There used to be one in the colonnade. I don't know if it's still there. Because there was one here, but it closed down just as we moved I'm here. I'm guessing there might still be one or two, but I don't know. Because I, don't I liked know. Subway. Subway's actually, listen. It was so nice. With regards to, to being healthier food than well, other bread, places. Well, but, you know, it was nice. It was very nice. I like nice. bread. I know, you love bread. Would you do that? I'm... Wait, okay, who am I? Who are you who talking to? Who are you talking? My dad even like, started laughing. But do they, do they pay for the le legal no, costs you've, of I can changing your name? You've got it at seven and a half. Oh, they said that. I can't, uh, no, I can't remember. I did read that too, but I'll need to actually go read it again. I just as, can't remember. As per usual, we are so good with fact checking. That's what we do. Um, I would probably do it because it's it's close. Sa Samantha, <laughs> Subway. Sammy, CB. CB. The thing is that... Sammy all says. <laughs> <laughs> hey, free bread forever. Free bread forever. With ham and cheese and... And all the black and cheese. what is that green one? Uh, the gherkin. Gherkins. Ooh. Oh, I love a gherkin. Because you like a gherkin. I don't like a gherkin. Um, I like drinking the juice just like that. You drink the juice just like that, not with a straw. Yeah, I, I'll, I like drinking Coke with a straw, but maybe not I don't not like juice. drinking with a straw. But it lasts longer. It feels like it makes your teeth cold. Oh. They're at the back. They're at the... And if it's a paper straw, oh. listen. Don't get listen. me started on paper straws. I love a turtle just as much as the next person. But um, I, can't, I stand can't stand it. You are eating cardboard. That's what happened a while ago. And 
And that you see that the, sorry, I'm interrupting you, hey, but that okay. you see that if you put that piper straws in a kalk, in the machine kalk, mm -hmm. then the kalk, the kalk pushes the straw out. Yes, I've seen so, yeah, 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 because of a well. I, I thought I was losing my mind because I'm chatting and every time I look down, <laughs> the straw is <laughs> outside the glass. Anyway, you want to decide? Because that stuff, it, it sort of, it's, although it is, it's, it's, it's clever in the sense, now it's a straw, now it's paper mache. So I, I did that. On, exactly. So drinking some uh, orange juice a while back, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> half of the straw came out and went up there, and it was horrendous. And then you don't really want to drink anymore because no. it's part of the straw. I didn't want to. I just straw. feel like, um, okay, so now you get a paper straw in your plastic cup. Like. Yeah. And yesterday I saw um, there was someone, there's a lot of videos of people um, sharing their Starbucks cup collection. Yes. Like it's becoming a problem for people, like spending all their money on stupid Starbucks cups. And I thought like, now you are saving the planet mm -hmm. by going to something like a plastic cup that you can reuse. But then you buy 3,000 of them. I feel like it defeats the, it defeats the purpose. purpose. Of using I might be wrong. What do I know about planet conservation? Is that the word? Yeah, these are... You see, I'm actually, I'll be honest, I'm one of the, um, Because, it, again, also, I gift you those those gifts that are also like a child. And, and I am, I'm still the person. If I have to go to a place where they've got the machine thingies where you can go, I'm still that person who goes... <coughs> so I get Coke and this and that and then... He's and a then, weirdo. I am a... He puts... <laughs> Different cold drinks into one glass. Hey, like, just live a little. I I'm, feel I'm fine being semi dead if <laughs> being alive means that you have to stuff grey stuff in your face. But he can't smell, so that means but that your face isn't, isn't tasting. nearly my face. <laughs> there we go, we go here again. Yeah. Um, Speaking of children, <laughs> yes. you said you still like the children, yes. but for my birthday, me and my friend dressed all in pink and we went to the mall. I saw on the socials. We watched the Barbie movie and we went to the games room, which um, is my best, favorite place in the world, yes. is the games room. It mm. brings in my inner child. Um, not it, it doesn't bring in my inner child. <laughs> it brings out my inner child. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. Um, and you know that like things have changed so much like technology is advancing and they have that car racing did things. you go to a fancy one we were at mainland oh so you went to, oh you went to mainland so as you must come out of the movies they've got this downstairs oh yeah but they have that car racing stuff and when we sat down the screen said put on your safety belt for a like, game what? and then there's literally safety belts put it on and then I saw why, because you're racing and you hit other cars and the whole seat. Oh, like wow, good. And I am in the moment yes. and I kind of forget that this is a place for children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm like, get out of oh. my way! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody must just record you doing that. You're... I'm seeing a boy sitting next to me in the car and his dad is standing there like, and I'm, I'm living my best life. And then me and Rieta went on the, there's this other cars, like, wait, the bumper one sees. Mm -hmm. Great time. Then there was one where you have to throw clowns. It's like clowns and you have to throw them with a the ball. You have to throw oh, yeah. And I am swearing this clown's mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's For you fat clown. Oh my gosh. For you fat <laughs> <laughs> Your mother didn't have good jokes! And I was just, it was such a fun day. That's fantastic. And then I said to Rita, okay, last stop, I want to go to exclusive books. Mm. I want to see if they stock my book. Now it's Milan, it's a big store. It's a very big store. And now I'm walking in there, and that, that's when I realized I don't know what genre my book is. Because I'm like, where do I even work? Where do you even look? It's yeah. Afrikaans, comedy, crime, because I did go through a like, kleptomania stage. So maybe it's under crime, but I'm not finding it. And now I don't want to go to the counter and say hi. Hi, do you have, do you have my book? book? Um, because I don't want them to know that I'm an ego. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kijk, één is Rita Keimer aan te komen. Dit is mijn pick. Next, de Bear Girls. Het is maar raar. Queen. De Queen. The Queen. En Prins Harry. Dit is de clumsy patite daar. Ik ben Listen. Ik ben het. Hey. Anyway, it was very fun first time. It was amazing. Like and we had an excuse to get dressed all pinky and I did pink eyeshadow. It was fun. It was fun. And it made me realize we take life too seriously. Mm, we really Let's do. just just have fun, okay? Right? Yeah, kids, kids um play area, go down the slide, eat uh, chips and ice cream, like just have a good time. It's not that difficult. And how much popcorn did you have? You have lots. I did have popcorn, just a yeah. normal amount. <laughs> I think. <gasps> what flavors did you take? How have things changed? Because they always used to have these tables. Yes, with all but the ingredients. Because of people like us. Yes. They like no, you only get the packet. You only get I the think packet. it was because of COVID. Yeah, it would have been because of what. But then you get two packets, and yeah. I always take butter, salt. Oh because yes. Because butter makes everything better. It does. Um. And then the other thing that happened is that I ran into the fence. Hey, I saw that. Yes, I did saw so that. So in the smoking area of Spur, and then it's also it was his birthday. So he came ah. in. I'm like, and he's like, and we're like, nice to meet you, and we eventually no recognized each, each other, other from yes. internet spaces. Oh wow! That was a good time. That is fantastic. Sammy next to Bear Girls. The queen and, and the, the queen. <laughs> Does life get any better? <laughs> well, speaking of bears. <laughs> yes, speaking of bears, do tell. Oh my goodness. I am on <laughs> She was so, you, This is so much better than last week, I must say, because of your, your vibiness and your... Sh she's back. Sammy's back. Yes. There was this images and videos shared on social media of a bear in a zoo. Yeah, that you see. I saw it. And now people are like, that is a person in a costume. It really looks like it. It does. It really looks but like then, it. But then the zoo was like, no, it's not. It's a bear. It's just mm -hmm. not the bears that you know in the West. It's a certain sort of bear. And I thought, okay, well, it makes sense. I've seen my dog and my cat stand like that. Mm. You know, it does look weird. But I don't know, it looks weird. It looks very strange, just the way it's built. Will you edit in a video or a, a picture? A picture of it, absolutely. Yeah. What do you think? Does this look like a biological bear? Or maybe just a person identifying as it's a bear? <laughs> now for Eirot's idiotic check. A sheep, a drum and a snake fall off a cliff. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay, enough. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Oh, I have to do a rant. Yes. I have to be all set, but I'll do the rant first. Okay. I don't do me a song for my life. Um. for the ride. <laughs> My rant today is going to tie into the TikTok I made earlier today and that is because I tried to find the pharmacy. How hard can that be? Hard apparently. All right. So I'm holding for like eight and a half minutes and there's a voice saying, your call is important to us. We... <laughs> There's a voice that goes. There's a voice that goes. Your call is important to us. We are experiencing a higher than normal call rate. Thank you for your patience. First of all, you are assuming my patience because I don't have any. Okay. If my freaking call was important to you, you would have answered the phone. Now, why did I have to call the pharmacy? Well, I'm gonna get personal with you guys. If it makes you uncomfortable, grab. I had to go to get my pill, which I drink every month. Not one pharmacy has it in stock. Never happened to me before. So the last pharmacy says, no, it's out of stock at the manufacturers. Like, it isn't 
available at all. I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? Because already my hormones is hormones is fucking around. I feel like crying. My stomach is hurting. Um, what must I do now? Now you must go to the doctor and get a prescription for a different pill. I'm like, okay, okay. So what you are telling me? Mrs. Optheater lady is that I have to pay 650 rand consultation fee to see the doctor so that he can prescribe me an alternative because that's not going to happen. I would rather cry and have hormones. Thank you very much. So I thought, okay, instead of driving to every single pharmacy in the whole world, I'm just going to call one. Eventually, after eight and a half minutes of holding on, I get to a human person. Just to hear that I also don't have stock. So. That has been my day. Oh, hello. Um, is, there, is there an ending to that? So have we, why is there not a generic of that pill? Don't know. Don't know. No. Because, do you know why? Tell me. Because the doctors want more money. Uh, anyway, that is all for today's rant. Um, it's not a problem I have often. Like whenever I go to get my medication, they have it. Yeah. But now, what now? What now? Hmm? But Miss Anne, what must I do now? <laughs> no, no. That is it for today's rant. Um, anyway, not a big deal. I'll get it sorted somehow. Oh, no, you'll burn the house down. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and comment. I know I'm being demanding, but that's how we grow on YouTube. I want to thank everyone for your nice comments last week. We appreciate it. And you keep us going. And um, let us know if there's any topics you want to talk to us, not talk to us about, that we have to talk have about. Us talk to, to you, you about. About you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.